long years ago, we made a trick with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. I welcome you all to the 73rd Republic Day celebrations organized by Don Bosco School, Alaknanda. Each year, Republic Day is celebrated to recognize the constitution which came into effect on the 26th of January, 1950. We as citizens will always uphold the ideals enshrined in the constitution. Keeping that in mind, without any further ado, we begin today's program with a prayer for our beloved motherland. इस मातृभूमि को शत शत नमन करते मेरे नयन तेरी स्वर्णिम धरा मन मोहिनी छटा ओ हृदय बंद भूलोक का गौरव प्रकृति का पुण्य लीला स्थल कहा फैला मनोहर गिरि हिमालय और गंगा जल जहां संपूर्ण देशों से अधिक किस देश का उत्कर्ष है उसका कि जो ऋषि भूमि है वह कौन भारत वर्ष इस मातृभूमि को शत शत नमन करते मेरे नयन तेरी स्वर्णिम धरा मन मोहिनी छटा को हृदय वंदन वीरांगनाओं ने किया जिस भूमि पर सर्वस्व समर्पण उन वीरों की पावन धरती को नमन करते मेरे नयन नमन करते मेरे नयन India took baby steps towards becoming one of the largest democracies in the world, overcoming a farrago of challenges and earning world recognition. It overcame colonization in 1947, but it was just the beginning. It wouldn't be until 26 January 1950 that the constitution would come into effect, providing the citizens of India with a coherent structure and a set of rights. The constitution grants the citizens of India with six fundamental rights. Our country today has become the epitome of what the leaders had envisioned back in 1950, which is indeed a matter of pride for both the present and the past generations. India today is the second fastest growing economy in the world. It stands at the third position only behind US and China in terms of upcoming startups in the country. It is also one of the largest exporters of vaccine to the third world countries to help them fight the pandemic. After 1950, several monumental movements such as Green Revolution, White Revolution and many other prominent initiatives were taken by the people of modern India that helped us gain world recognition. Our leaders paved the way for us to earn a spot in the global marathon for power. It is now up to us to take that baton and stride forward to turn our dreams into a reality. 
With that said, let us again relive those precious moments when our constitution was being framed and remind ourselves of the ideals that inspired our leaders. मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ मैं शक्ति का अमर गर्व हूँ आजादी का विजय पर्व हूँ पहले राष्ट्रपति का गुण हूँ बाबा भीमराव का मन हूँ मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ लोकतंत्र का उद्बोधन हूँ अधिकारों का संबोधन हूँ मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ मैं आचरणों का लेखा हूँ कानूनी लक्ष्मण रेखा हूँ मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ मैं भारत का संविधान हूँ आइए सुने आयुष की जबानी कैसे बना यह महान संविधान हमारा द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज द सुप्रीम लॉ ऑफ द कंट्री इट लेस डाउन द फ्रेमवर्क डिफाइनिंग द फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ गवर्नेंस इस्टेब्लिशिंग द स्ट्रक्चर्स द प्रोसीजर्स द पावर्स एंड द ड्यूटीज ऑफ बोथ द गवर्नमेंट एंड द सिटीजन Looking at the historic moment when India had its own constitution we need to trace the events that captured this moment in the golden words of our first prime minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru when he said long years ago we made a tryst with destiny the time for this esteemed event begins with the Lahore session of the congress in 1929 The president of this session was Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and with all the members unanimously deciding Purna Swaraj or complete independence from the shackles of the British rule. They decided to celebrate Independence Day on 26th January 1930 and to launch a civil disobedience movement to de- defy all British laws and thus began the journey of making our own constitution India with its largest democracy in the world boasts of having the longest written constitution belonging to any sovereign country of the world a constituent assembly was elected to frame this constitution in december 1946 with almost 300 members representing different groups religions regions cultures castes and classes of the indian society dr rajendra prasad became the president of this assembly and later the first president of free india dr b r ambedkar became the chairman of the drafting committee who spelled out the details of governance for our beloved country a mammoth task which was not short of a challenge catering to the diversities of this unique land after 2 years of detailed debates and discussions the work of the indian constitution was finally completed by 26th november 1949 very surprisingly this constitution in its original form was handwritten in two languages hindi and english the constituent assembly decided to adopt and enforce this constitution on 26th January 1950 to commemorate this date chosen to celebrate independence day way back in the 1930 thus the constitution came into being on 26th January 1950 and india became a republic today we celebrate this day 26th January every year as republic day which reminds us of the sacrifices and the hard work done by our people the ethos of this constitution reverberates in our mind and heart through its introduction the preamble which is a pledge of the millions of indians before us and also after us which inspires us to be a conscious citizen let us all take this pledge we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly 
this 26th day of November 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution
रंग रंग के रूप हमार जैसे एक उपवन को दर्शाते हैं एक ही जल से सींचे गए हम एक ही पवन से लहराते हैं जिस मिट्टी से जन्मे हम उस शुद्ध धरा को अलग अलग ढंग से ही सही मगर किसी ने पहन रखी है टोपी तो किसी की शान पगड़ी तो कोई केसरी से सज जाते हैं हम रंग है तिरंगे के जो साथ में शोभा लाते हैं हर रंग में ढल कर इस दुनिया को अलग अलग ढंग से ही सही मगर एकता से सजाते हैं गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल टूडे एज वी सेलिब्रेट आर सेवेंटी थर्ड रिपब्लिक डे The Bosconians of classes one and two take the opportunity to give you the glimpses of the rich culture and heritage of our motherland. Indian culture is one of the most ancient culture present in the world. The country is quite diverse and is home to several communities. It is this combination of various splendid cultures. that make india one of a kind the indian cultural diversity is what makes india unique and beautiful i take immense pride to present before you the rich culture of the various state of india namaste i am from uttar pradesh the land of ganga and yamuna namaskara i am from karnataka the largest exporter of coffee in the country namaste i am from sikkim india's first organic state hello i am from goa the land of pictures रेगिस्तानी सवारी जहाज ऊट मैं हरियाणा का सू प्यार प्रेम प्यार भाईचारे का पैगाम लाया सु मैं हरियाणा की मीठी राम राम लाया सु हम देसी देसी मारा खाना से देसी मारा बाड़ा से और देसी मारा हरियाणा से दूध दही का खाना क्यूबल तड़े नहाना बिना जान पहचान भाई बता हेलो डांस हैज ट्रेडिशनली बीन एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ रिलीजन एंड कल्चर इन इंडिया According to Indian legends, the gods invented dance. India is replete with an ancient history that gave rise to forms of classical and folk dances that are still performed today. Here we dive into some of these dance forms that enrich our cultural practices and add to the richness of our heritage.
Joseph Addison once said, What pity is it that we can die but once to serve our country? We now present our salutations to the leaders who paved way for the independence of India. Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Jai Hind! The movement for India's independence lasted for almost a hundred years. Although it attracted a majority of the Indian population, only a handful of them rose to lead the struggle. But what made them rise above the rest? On the occasion of this Republic Day, let us reflect upon significant incidents from the lives of two great leaders, Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. While these speak volumes about their strength, resolve and character, it would help us to understand the fundamental philosophies each of them followed throughout their lives. Imbibing the essence of what guided these two great men can set us on the path to becoming better human beings. Father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. When Gandhiji was a student, one day the inspector of schools, Mr. Kyles, came to visit his school. To test how much the students knew, he asked them to write down the spellings of a few words that he dictated. After the test was over, Gandhiji's teacher noticed that he had incorrectly spelled the word kettle as K-E-T-L-E. As the inspector was busy checking what one of the students had written, the teacher signaled to Gandhiji to correct the spelling by looking at what the student sitting beside him had written. But Gandhiji refused to do it. All his life, Gandhiji followed the principle, honesty is the best policy. Lesson learned, be honest always. The Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Sardar Vallabhai Patel was born in the village of Karamsad. He and his friends used to walk to Pethlad to attend N.K. High School, which was at a distance of almost 15 kilometers. One day, while walking to school, Sardar Patel found a big stone lying in their path. While the rest of his friends did not pay any attention and moved ahead, Sardar Patel stayed back. Concerned about how much inconvenience the stone would cause to those travelling on the road, he decided to remove it. With no one around to help him, he persevered alone by first digging around the stone, then moving it out of the way. When India gained independence, Sardar Patel walked tirelessly to unite the 560-odd princely states into the Union of India. He always followed the dictum, idleness is the greatest enemy of man. Lesson learned, keep persevering. Our planet today is grappling with a set of shared problems, be it terrorism, climate change or the epidemic. In these challenging circumstances, we should draw inspiration from the lives of these two great men, imbibe their virtues and propagate the same. We, the children of today, will rise to be the saviors of tomorrow. Thank you.
अपना मुन्ना राही हूँ देश का सिपाही हूँ बोलो मेरे सन जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद अपना मुन्ना राही हूँ देश का सिपाही हूँ बोलो मेरे सन जय हिंद जय हिंद जय दोस्तों भारत भूमि की आन बनाए रखने के लिए कई वीरों ने संघर्ष किया और अपने प्राण हंसते हंसते त्याग दिए कविता ए वीर भूमि के माध्यम से मेरे दोस्त वीरों की गाथा का वर्णन कर उन वीरों को श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करने जा रहे हैं I 
नच कोई लो पे रात बिताई है अखियों की नींद मैंने फूकों से उड़ा दी गिले गिले तारे मैंने उंगली जलाई है Jai Hind! Today, we all are here to acknowledge our privilege of being born in a free India and celebrate the Republic Day of our country. We need to ask those born before 1947 to know the pangs of anguish of being enslaved under a colonial rule. For every Indian in those days, it was indeed a Herculean task to fight against those powerful giants, the British, those difficult times and struggles must not be allowed to fade away from our memories. Hence, every Republic Day, we not only celebrate our freedom, but we also pay tribute to the ones who fought for it, to the ones who held a vision for our country, and to the ones who sacrificed themselves for the same. Now, we are going to present the glimpses of incidents that paved the way for India's freedom. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to understand that economy equals to empire. East India Company is forcing us to grow indigo so that they can sell their finished goods here in India at high prices. I appeal to you to only use goods produced in India instead of those being imported from Britain. India and its resources belongs to us, so we should have complete authority over it. Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. Non-violence and Satyagraha are the two powerful weapons that will help us in our fight against Britishers. Salt is not a luxury. An imposition of salt tax is unfair. Next to air and water, salt is perhaps the greatest necessity of life. We will organize salt march. It's a battle of right against might. The fist which held the salt may be broken, but it may not yield up its salt. With these crystals of salt, I am going to shake the entire foundation of the British Empire. Jai Hind! भैरों को सुनाने के लिए आवाज़ जोरदार होनी चाहिए। They can crush my body, but they will not be able to crush my spirit. Bombs and pistols do not make a revolution. The sword of revolution is sharpened on the wooden stone of idea. May the sun, in his course, visit no land more free, more happy, more lovely than this our own country. Inkalab Zindabad. याद रखिए सबसे बड़ा अपराध अन्याय सहना और गलत के साथ समझौता करना है फ्रीडम इज नॉट गिवन इट इज टेक इन नो रियल चेंज इन हिस्ट्री हैज बीन अचीव बाई डिस्कशन इट इज ब्लड अ लोन दैट कैन पे द प्राइस ऑफ फ्रीडम ये हमारा कर्तव्य है कि हम अपनी स्वतंत्रता का मोल अपने खून से चुकाए हमें अपने बलिदान और परिश्रम से जो आजादी मिले हमारे अंदर उसकी रक्षा करने की ताकत होनी चाहिए तुम मुझे खून दो मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा जय हिंद लॉन्ग इयर्स गो वी मेड ट्रिस्ट विस्टिंग एंड नाउ द टाइम कम्स वेन वी शैल रिटी मा प्लेज not only or in full measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom 
that future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving, so that we may fulfill the pledges we have so often taken, and the one we shall take today. The service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. Jai Hind! Gallantry awards are given by the Government of India to honour the acts of bravery and the sacrifices made by the Indian Armed Forces and the civilians. Each year, these awards are given on Republic Day to commemorate the valour shown by them. We will now pay homage to these selfless award winners. Today, I would like to talk about a brave soldier who sacrificed himself for the nation. Major Vibhuti Shankar Dondayal played a pivotal role in saving the country from terrorists during the Pulwama attack in 2019. He fought valiantly leading the battalion and was awarded the Shaurya Chakra for the same. If I was Major Vibhuti, I would have done the same, fighting till my last breath. There is no reason to fear death. Dying for the nation is the greatest honor one can receive. Major Vibhuti has motivated me by showing his bravery, courage and exceptional field skills in wiping out the terrorists. I truly admire such a person and look forward to doing something for this beautiful country. Major Somnath Sharma was an officer of the Indian Army and the first recipient of the Param Veer Chakra, India's highest military decoration, for which she was awarded posthumously. The Battle of Badgam On 31st October, the company under the command of Sharma was flown into Srinagar on patrol duties. During this time, his left hand was in a plaster cast, but he insisted on being with his company in combat and was subsequently given permission to go. Sharma's company was fired upon from the local resident houses in Madgam, but counterfire was restrained to avoid injuring or killing of innocent civilians. While busy fighting the infiltrators, a mortar shell exploded on a pile of ammunition near him. Before he succumbed to his injuries, he transmitted a message to his brigade's headquarters, which read, The enemies are only 50 yards from us. We are heavily outnumbered. We are under devastating fire. I shall not withdraw an inch, but will fight to our last man in our last round. Major Somnath Sharma, at the young age of 25 years, laid down his life for the nation and became the first recipient of the Param Veer Chakra of Independent India. His leadership, gallantry and tenacious defence were such that his men were inspired to fight the enemy by 7 to 1, six hours after this gallant officer had been killed. His saga of bravery, leadership and unyielding fighting spirit will continue to inspire the future generations. Thank you. Country Award winner 2021, Major Mahesh Kumar Bhure. Major Mahesh Kumar Bhure was given the award for displaying exemplary leadership and unparalleled courage during an operation in which six top terrorist commanders were killed in Jammu and Kashmir. His subordinate was wounded in this firefight. He put himself at great risk and personally evacuated him under very heavy fire. He then readjusted the cordon and was able to pin down the terrorists. He is a fearless and a proud soldier who has shown great and extraordinary decision-making and strength all in the service of the nation. 
I admired him for his actions and how he didn't care about his life and rescued his friend's life first in times of danger. He has a strong will and his spirit didn't falter when he faced strong enemies. The way he valued both life and mission was of the greatest example someone could ever give and it motivated not only me but thousands around the nation. He is a role model to be followed. He was dependable, responsible and showed what is the true meaning of a courageous and a one valiant soldier. I wish to become like him one day. Today I am going to talk about a great gallantry award winner who is commonly remembered by spoken lines. Ye dil mange more. None other than Captain Vikram Batra. Captain Vikram Batra was a great soldier and was awarded the Paramvi Chakra for his actions during the 1999 Kargil war during which he led one of the most difficult mountain warfare operation in the Indian military history Vikram Batra motivates me to keep my nation before myself as he did to keep humanitarian behavior towards all he inspires me to dedicate my life to the motherland and never be afraid of death Music and dance has long been one of the prime factors that has invoked feelings of patriotism in each one of us. It invigorates feelings of pure devotion, loyalty and respect for our nation. Now we present before you a patriotic dance by Milan Shobhi. Lapeyati Dear teachers and students, on the auspicious occasion of 73rd Republic Day, I extend my heartiest greetings and good wishes to all of you. The constitution of our country is the backbone of our country and we are grateful to have one of the finest constitution in the world. The credit for this goes to our founding fathers who formulated and drafted 
an exemplary constitution that has steered India towards progress and development. We are truly blessed to be born in a country which is truly democratic, socialistic and republic. Today we can enjoy many rights and privileges as a citizen of this country. Some of these rights are the right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights. We have the duty to preserve and protect these fundamental rights at all cost. We need to uphold our rich tradition, culture, values, achievement and uplift the morale of everyone. This is an occasion to reaffirm our commitment to unity in diversity, fraternity and equality among all citizens. On this Republic Day, let us pledge ourselves to take part in nation building in our own unique ways and celebrate it with high spirits. I would like to congratulate and appreciate Social Science Department and all our teachers, students who took initiative and worked hard to organize virtual celebration of Republic Day program. May the dream of making Shashakta Bharat be realized soon in our country. God bless all of you. Jai Hind. Truth never damages a cause that is just, are the sage words of the father of the nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. A hero to the exploited and a savior to the oppressed. The ideology of the Maha Atma has been an umbrella of truth, faith and optimism for millions of Indians. He was not only an advocate of non-violence, but his movements are an epitome of triumph over evil. On this 73rd Republic Day of India, we take a stroll down the memory lane and present to you Gandhiji's experiments with truth, which led to our independence. Can we skip to the good part? Apart from colours and yoga, the one figure the West recognises India by is Gandhiji, a man who became a household name all over the world for his sheer courage, perseverance and belief in non-violence. Two such movements that prove testament to this fact are the non-cooperation movement and the civil disobedience movement led by Gandhiji, which eventually created the momentum needed for our quest for independence. The Dandi March of 1930, led by Mahatma Gandhi, initiated the civil disobedience movement. He broke the salt law and urged the public to defy the taxes on salt. The Time magazine featured him as the person of the year. The Quit India movement or the Bharat Chhodo Andolan in 1942 was the ultimate nationwide movement for independence. In spite of brutal repression, negotiations worked out and India was granted freedom. Gandhiji was a key leader in the second roundtable conference and demanded a unified India in all aspects. In an unfortunate incident on 31st January 1948, Bapu was shot by the extremist Nathuram Godse because of his virtue of propagating unity. And ever since that day has been observed as the Martyrs Day in India. In our diverse populace, Bapu holds different meanings for different individuals. 
His principle of bura mat dekho, bura mat suno, bura mat bolo is fervently taught to toddlers. Young children think of him as a one-man army, the driving force for our freedom, and for those who studied him, he is the epitome of grace, and his memory exudes a certain calmness. But for all of us, he is a reason because of which we feel proud to call ourselves Indian. Nelson Mandela was, in many ways during his lifetime, a practitioner of Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy of Satyagraha and Ahimsa. Mr. Mandela referred to Gandhiji as his role model and was inspired by him to lead South Africa's journey to independence. While Mr. Mandela and Gandhiji never met, both were linked by a passion to end oppression and bring about change in discrimination. Gandhiji's philosophy and approach left an indelible mark on Mr. Mandela and it shaped his socio-political journey in South Africa. Mahatma Gandhi, as a visionary, inspired the youth to drive themselves with an aim, with a purpose. Simplicity of his thoughts and his dream of self-reliant India pushes us to go beyond our abilities. He strongly believed in the universal goodness of all humans and famously said that we can appeal to the conscience of our oppressors to help them see the truth. There are a plethora of qualities that we can find in Gandhiji's life and I personally have always adored his quality of learning from mistakes. It is rightly said that failures are the stepping stone to success. Because it is from these mistakes we strive hard to find and explore alternatives. Moreover, success after failure makes you realize how capable you are. Mistakes even teaches us the value of everything in our lives. Thus, mistakes encourage us to think creative and develop new ways and lessons to approach better opportunities. Mahatma Gandhi stood firmly by his ideals and that is what I find most inspiring about him. His principles hold true even today in a world where peace is a necessity and successful conflict resolution is a long lost art. In such testing times, it is Bapu's ideology which drives our nation to pursue diplomatic relations in the most dire situations, trudging the path of ahimsa and distancing ourselves from violence. At the time when everyone resisted supporting them, Gandhiji was a man who turned out to be a messiah for women and the untouchables. He gave his blood, sweat and tears to fight for them. Mahatma Gandhi launched Satyagrahas, stayed with Harijans and made every single effort to abolish the practice of untouchability. He wholeheartedly supported the emancipation of women fought against the inhuman practices of sati, child marriage and the oppression of widows. He was a soft-hearted man, committed to his selfless service to mankind. The physical in man reacts to the psychological. Gandhiji has often been termed as the prophet of the 21st century. His methods of non-violent approach to dispute resolution is an important area in peace research. He was a staunch believer of the truth and worked with a pertinacious resistance on the development of the inner traits. But how is he relevant in this era? The cardinal principles of Mahatma Gandhi are engraved in our daily life and respect, understanding, acceptance, appreciation and compassion are basic to our existence. These are simple habits and if we all start trying to nurture these, we could make a difference in this world. Mahatma Gandhi is known worldwide as a political leader, a renowned theorist, a philosopher and a practitioner of truth, non-violence, tolerance and freedom. His principles and ideologies are revered worldwide and hold significance even today. Mahatma Gandhi still shines as a world perceptor or guru whose sermons and principles are still pertinent across the globe by the virtue of their concern for humanity and universality. It is rightly said that Mahatma Gandhi belongs not only to India, 
but to the whole world is not only of our time but of all time and he will continue to have its relevance throughout the coming ages gandhi ji is the embodiment of unique integrity humanity and commitment his rebuke to the traditional caste system and his call for helping the harijins had much effect even after his death his views about sanitation decentralization of power equality for women and basic education for all helped define modern india today his notion of simple living arouses millions of people around the world and remains a uniting factor for india the recently celebrated 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and the azadi ka amrit mahotsav have raised awareness and shed light on the life of this legend and on of those whose lives he touched through his ideas and actions it is on days like these that we remember him and those like him who gave their everything for a brighter future of this nation the spirit of gandhi lingers on very much alive in the heartlands of india to the people for whom he is the mahatma he lives on Now let us all rise for the national anthem Jan gan man adhinayak jay hai Bharat bhag vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravid Uttar Banga Vindhya Himachal Yamuna Ganga जल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मा 